Okay, I'm going to do a review that's a little different. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to actually be in front of the camera and I'm going to show you the product pretty much straight off. This is a Velbon UP400 or UP400, I suppose you could say, and it's a monopod. Um, quite a nice piece of kit. I've been trying this out quite a bit today. I've had uh, basically a day off from work and I thought I've had this. I've, you know, not in around for about a month or so, not actually getting used properly. So let's give it a proper trial. And one thing I will say straight off the bat, it's quite light and quite comfortable. Okay, you've got a moulded grip here which fits in the hand quite nicely. It's, you'll notice if I hold it a, a little closer that it's a sort of flat edge here and a more sort of rounded side around here and that continues into the foam padding here. So personally, I prefer to hold it like that. My fingers are wrapped around it. No, nothing to stop you from holding that way if you prefer. But the grips do sort of indicate you're supposed to hold it like this, and that is quite practical. It is quite a good feel. It is made by the same people who I bought my tripod from, uh, which is a DF41. He said reading from the actual tripod itself, and for the most part, it's pretty much the same basic technology. It's these are little clasps here, or class in order of descendant size, a big one, a middle one and so on. And they extend to give you quite a good length, let's just get this fully extended. One thing I have noticed after having used it today, it's uh, stiffened up in places. Ooh, uh. But there you go, that's its full length, which uh, or full height, which is just a little shorter than myself, so that's roughly up to my eye level when uh, fully extended. Uh, hmm. Curiously, my camcorder seems to be, uh... Actually, the facial recognition seems to be bouncing from my face to this. Bit odd, but there you go. But, that said, the actual full height of this is just up to my eyebrow level, and I stand 5 foot 8. Okay, so you've got a good idea. This can be used quite comfortably, even for somebody my height. Because you just adjust it like this, and there you go. That's roughly the level that I would need for it to be eye level. And somebody who's taller than me, when it's actually up like this, it'd probably be leaning down like that, uh, or maybe crouched or scru squatted or something like that. It doesn't really seem to make much difference, it's probably going to be negligible, but uh, it can be used basically as a walking stick, and I found that as I was going around, it was actually best to use it as a walking stick rather than trying to carry it any other way, such as, uh, you know, putting it back together and then having to reset everything. It was best just to leave it at a certain height, practical for actual, uh, you know, for actual, uh, for actual use as a walking stick. But that about two full extensions work best for me. Um, and although you do have the weight of the camera on, you don't really notice it that much. You get used to it after a while. The real difficulty was walking at a suitable pace to actually make use of this. And having had a look around, you can actually get uh, dual walking sticks. I think it's called Nordic walking. It's basically the idea of skiing, but without the skis, you've just got the sticks. And it's supposed to be incontensibly healthy. It's supposed to have proven results that actually make sure it's one of the most healthy things you can do as far as physical activity is concerned. It's probably because you're using your arms and your body and your legs at the same time. Never tried it myself so I can't really say but uh, you can get basic monopods with another stick for you to walk with. And at first I mocked the idea because let's face it, you've got the camera on here and then nothing on the other one. And I've not tried it, so I don't know if it'll actually work or not, but certainly just one stick by itself with the camera on there didn't really make much difference. Maybe if I had a bigger camera, I should point out I've referred to this as a camcorder, it's not, it's a Canon EOS 700D, that's not a camcorder, it's a photographic camera DSLR type job, uh, which can shoot video quite well, I might add. Uh, and that's the camera I used with this. And it works nicely. There were other versions I saw, not from the same company, but other versions altogether, where it was made of cheaper material. This is quite a solid, although it does sound bad when anyway, you actually do, do that. It is actually quite solid, even though it is obviously hollow. 
you can get quite a good bit of wear and tear and usage and it's not going to break. But some that I tried out in shops beforehand, actually I went to the shops and tried it for myself, they just felt a little weak around here. You don't really get any problems like that here because this feels solid all the way through. This is quite a nice piece of kit compared to others that I've tried. But you know, the only real issue I have was, um, is with the actual screw and attachment. It screws in quite quickly, quite nicely, but because it doesn't have a quick release mechanism, if you want to do something a bit more free range, then you're, you know, you're going to be fighting it a little bit. Um, also, unlike my tripod, which allows me to switch from landscape to portrait, obviously you've got no option like this. I haven't actually came across a monopod that does allow you that kind of versatility, although they're probably just thinking you'll end up doing that, which does feel a bit awkward to be honest. The weight distribution. Hmm. But overall, yeah, quite nice. I like it. Um, I definitely intend to use it. So I've put together a little bit of a montage as well. So, so, uh, I did a whole load of photos around the uh, local area. This is basically photographs of St Mary's Island, St Mary's Lighthouse, from a distance using this to steady it. And also a little bit of film footage as well. Um, so I hope you like that. And there's a few other things as well. Okay, so I'm testing the panning ability uh, while it's on the monopod. So panning to the left. And we'll stop there. And we'll slowly pan back to the right. Centering on St. Mary's Island, St. Mary's Lighthouse. Okay, this time, again panning, this time without the monopod. So I'll pan to the left slowly, fill out the 
steady this time around. My hands are, feel like they're trembling, but I can't really pick that up that well on the stream. And we're coming back to the right. And there we go. And we'll just hold for the time being. Just give a few seconds worth of uh, me holding it like this. And there we go. What do you think? One thing I should point out though is the actual state of the, uh, the actual edge here. This is something that should be looked at as well. You've basically got this screw attachment here which, you know, you can sort of get extra height by screwing it in place like that and that's obviously gotten quite a bit of dirt on it. Will the autofocus work? Maybe I put a little further back. Treat like the barrel of a gun. Yeah, that's not going to work. But well, actually, that does look. That does look somewhat sinister. And then there's the issue of the actual plastic bits here, and these little straps here. I forget what the actual proper term is. Well, the locking mechanism, I suppose, is the better choice of term. That is quite solid. That could do quite a bit of damage if it was used as a weapon. Obviously, you wouldn't, but, uh, you yeah, know, that could be used. Again and again and again as a quite an offensive weapon there, but obviously it's not designed for that, so I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, quite a bit of dirt on that. And something else I noticed about this leg here that once it happened, because it took the brunt of exposure as a walking stick, it uh, did get quite damp and quite wet. I'm not thinking of any kind of smell. I have gave it a brief little clean over, a little wipe down there, but, and just left that for your amusement. Uh, you know, doesn't seem to have had any kind of lasting damage whatsoever. And it all goes in quite nicely, as you can see, everything slides in and out quite easily. It does drop out quite nicely, and when it's locked in place, it locks in place. It is nice and secure. And we'll do the same here with this one. Nice and locked up, and we'll try that again with this one. Locked up and nice and secure. I'll admit it does sound a little worrying when I do that, but the actual sensation as it hits my hand is quite reassuringly solid. It is not going to break easily. You have to hit it a lot harder than I'm trying to hit it with. So between that and the footage I've shot and the still photos that I've shown you, I hope you've liked what you've seen, and I'll end things there. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again real soon.